the capital of Nigeria, Abuja, has the highest number of destitute in the country. The influx of beggars of the federal capital territory is beginning to constitute a nuisance to the environment. In Abuja now, destitute are common sight. People who are distorting the master plan of Abuja, too bad. More than 1,000 people have been returned back to their state from Abuja. The Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA, has returned 217 destitute. The Abuja Environmental Protection Board have commenced the arrest and prosecution of street hawkers. Destitute beggars are presumed to be one of the causes of recent increase in kidnapping, theft in the states. These are destitute. Yeah. They are homeless. Yeah. So they came here, we are just managing them, we are helping them. Yeah. Though the police is aware, the GSS is aware of them, yeah. so that's why we are just keeping them here. Nobody like to stay for this camp place, if not be seen a condition. That is why we are sick every minute, every second. You see the environment now. The environment is not good for any human being health. Do other people that live here, how do they get access to medication? They have to preserve themselves. The government is not doing anything for them. And we too don't have anything we do for them. The FCT minister has threatened to revoke lands that were allocated but not developed and reclaim uncompleted buildings, stating that such buildings have become an even for criminals. FCT Minister Yinsom Wike has rejected a plea by the Nigeria Customs Service to reconsider the revocation of its land. Because of pro-democracy demonstrators threw their weight behind the minister of the FCT over his threat of demolition of illegal structures in Abuja. Many reports have linked some of the cases of kidnapping crimes to some homeless people living in the streets, disguising themselves as homeless. There were allegations that some northerners come from other parts of the states to come and populate Abuja causing homelessness because some of them cannot afford house rent and all of that. Is that true? That is true. But the um, federal government should do something. Do you think that people are coming from outside Abuja and they come and overpopulate and that's probably one of the that is causing? Of course, that's true. I know about five persons that just moved to Abuja this year alone. So with the rate of people coming in every day, it's also a problem. A report by Vanguard and other news media claims that a rise in criminal activities including kidnapping and other forms of violence have been linked to homeless people and beggars on the street. I met up with a local administrator in Abuja in charge of the Home for Destiny at Otaku to find out where these people come from, why they keep increasing every year and what the government is actually doing about it. What's your name, sir? My name is Sarah Kachiba. What's the excess of this particular place? This is an old hospital, a government hospital, yeah. Taku. The government, they were building it before. Yeah. They stopped. There are some collapses down somewhere. Yeah. So they stopped it. Yeah. They stopped the contract. We could see a lot of people that are living here. How did the people get to this place? Uh, they, these are the streets. Yeah. They are homeless. Yeah. So they came here. We are just managing them. We are helping them. Yeah. Though the police is aware, the GSS is aware of them. Yeah. So that's why we are just keeping them here. But at the time, when the government is ready, we evacuate the whole place. Yeah. So, so what about the living conditions here? I could, could see that a lot of uh, the buildings are dilapidated, and uh, but we still see a lot of people and living there. They are staying there. It's, I told you it's just a pressure. They are just managing yeah. to live their life. Yeah. So. But there are children here with their parents and those ones that are schooling. Yeah. And so that's what they are managing, that's how they are going. You cannot blame them yeah. or ask for anything for them. Yeah. You can see they are distressed. They don't have money, yeah. they don't have things to do. Yeah. And so they are just managing here. We took a walk inside one of the abandoned buildings to find out how these people survive in such a poor environment and some of the major challenges they might be facing, especially diarrhea and cholera. Is there a school in this? No, no school. There are neighboring schools oh, outside. Okay. Okay. That's what, where they go to. So, and so many can't even afford education for their children. So why, why do you think uh, people keep coming here? Because of course this place is not a place where people can live, but they still keep coming to this park. It's up. just for help. For they struggling now. When they struggle, there's no place for them. So they run in here. And what do we do? We just help them. How many people live in this particular building? There are about 400 people. Okay, this particular one? No, it is a joint. A joint uh, yes. Do you have some specific needs that you want maybe the government or an NGO to help specifically? Like for now, 
you know there are people staying here and they don't have a source of living they don't have that source to help themselves so whatever help the NGO can do let them help so that we can help them to stand up mm -hmm. and I, like I told you of the education yes people are still struggling to send their children to school yes. a lot are not going to school mm -hmm. so that is what has been happening here Displacing homeless individuals without providing alternative housing solutions can lead to an increase in criminal activities. Homeless people, when left with no shelter, can result to theft, robbery and other crimes for survivors. What's your name, ma? My name is Anna. How long have you been in this particular place? Almost two years plus. This place is an completed building. Maybe one day they will come. They will come and come out us unexpected way. We will not expect. So yeah, we are come out. We cannot get any say. Say no. Are people still coming to live in this particular place? There is nothing we can do now. We are we get money to go and rent house. So people can come, pass up. Reports have already indicated that abandoned buildings are used as either for criminals and displacing these people without prior support could exhibit a problem. What do you do here, President? I myself am a vigilante official. Okay, so how long have you been in this particular place? Yeah? Yes. I've been more than 15 years. Only the problem because they don't have money to buy another to go and rent the house. That's why they are living here. Even though so even the security of the area they don't allow them to live. But because they're messing for them because no money for their hand. That's why they allow them to live here. So how many people they stay inside? How many people living inside this place? Mm, well, because the attachment of here is more than 100, uh, uh, 300 rooms here. Yes. So that's how people they are living here. So so thieves no fee stay for inside this place? Yeah. God forbid. Anybody, when you see for this complex, if you know say you don't have any business, you cannot live in this, for this area. Yes. So people that are staying in this place, where they come from? <laughs> uh, most of them. You cannot say, see where somebody come. We just complete Nigeria is here. Because here they are living here. Different language they are living here. So you have Yoruba, Usa, Ibu. All. All. There is complete Nigeria here. You see, abandoned and dilapidated beauty in Abuja present serious safety hazards including contributing to the city's rising number of building collapses. So we begin in Abuja, where another building collapsed, this time in the Bosnian Kubwa capital of the Federal Capital Territory. From the nation's capital, where a three-story building under construction has collapsed in Kubwa satellite town. The report indicates that many of these structures, often less uncompleted, or poorly maintained and deteriorating due to substandard materials, bad workmanship and corruption in building oversight processes. I am working with urban security. Okay. So they are the ones in charge of securing this place. So the government is behind them. The DSS okay. and then the police. We've given them the opportunity. So they came here. They do come here once in a while. Yeah. So they know the condition of this place. And then they, they, they ask us, so we also have a record of the people staying here. Oh, you do? You have a record of people staying here? Yeah, we have them because we know them. You, just, you don't just come in here to stay or do anything. In terms of if people want to ease themselves or use the bathroom, do, does this place have bathroom for people that want to ease themselves? Uh, there, there are those people that built their own. Okay. Uh, but there is no general bathroom oh. built by somebody or whatever oh. and so they just it is a makeshift bathroom what are the biggest challenges of people that are staying here uh, personally they are feeding now you know these people are just struggling to feed themselves they are all helping themselves so they are not doing anything just helping themselves yeah. by god's grace they are surviving yeah. you understand but well, some people will say especially some people that are staying in this environment outside will say the um, People are staying here and are unguarded and probably are menace to the public. Is it true? No, they are not menace to anybody. Because I'm telling you that we are guarding this place and we make sure of the people coming in here. So we know. Due to high cost of living in the city of Abuja, hundreds of people resort to staying at buildings like this, scattered across the city, especially women and children. Despite staying here, 
they have to pay reduced amounts monthly to the security which serves as rent and protection for their properties how much do they pay because they cannot afford to stay in our apartment if you have one thousand one thousand they pay just to accommodate them is it every month or every year how, how does the payment go and it's monthly you just pay something that's it so uh, we do, no, we do, do not uh, harbor criminals yeah. here that's it that's what you are doing so when you start, start noticing someone that is becoming a big p issue yes, here suspicious yes will report to the police oh, so they will either will, will fetch the person out and hand over to the police have they had cause to come and report um, somebody staying in this building to the police before yes we have been reporting to somebody and then the police when they start looking for somebody yes. they might tell us if the person is here we'll fetch the person out and hand over to them these people lack hope and public acceptance and they get no support from government or even non-governmental organizations which could fuel increase in suicide attempts and also increase in crime rates across the states does NGO comes to like support people that are staying here or people don't come no we have not seen any they are told you they need help they really need help so if there's anything you can do to better their life just help them while walking through the building we saw the dangers looming for people living inside this building in terms of falling ill and even having access to good IG. with the state of some of the building already deteriorating and collapsing even deep to the foundation people are living here and this place is actually dilapidated and they need support of the government as well as ngos as well so in any way that you can support them it will be very very good and of course a gofundme can also be open for people here as well so that i can support them and you can just type on the comments below and then will be able to reach out and support these people. The possibility of women and young ladies being exposed to sexual assault as well as underage marriage is growing rapidly in this area. Private organizations must come to their aid now or it might be too late.